Hey, peeps. Okay, buckle in, hunker down, because this is going to be a story. This is this is my day. It is chemo day once again. I had a nice little break, had an extra week off, and I'm like paying for it now. I, I don't know why. So, we had a lovely first snowstorm with freezing rain yesterday. Or did it start Saturday? Never mind. Saturday into yesterday. So, uh, the girl I was going to go with, I love her so much, but her sister had to be in the city early, so they left early Saturday. It was too early for me, so I, I was like, I'll just drive myself on Monday. <sighs> I, uh, I, I, yeah, the driving myself wasn't an issue. You know, the road was actually not that bad. You know what? That wasn't an issue. It wasn't a problem. I took my husband's truck. Probably gonna take in the car. No be. Fine, fine, fine. Everything's going good, you know? Uh, and then right away, this eyelash, I get, get something in it and I can't, I can't like stare at it and try and get it. I don't know what it is. Could be a wig, could be fuzz, could be whatever. So I've got this like tickling in my eye constantly for like the next half hour till I get to the halfway point. I'm like, oh! It was so bad that before I went through the Tim Hortons drive through at the halfway point, I like pulled into the parking lot, tore my eyelash off, threw my wig off, like went through my eye like this, da da da, finally got whatever it was, I picked all the fuzzies off of this eyelash, don't know where they came from, I don't know, they were fine, it was fine when I put it on, don't know where it came from. So I, uh, added the, the liner to reapply this, like within reach, so I did that, I was like, I'm just gonna reapply my eyelash, stick it on, I'm not gonna go through drive through like, you know, one lash on, one lash off. So I did the lash, but the eyeliner, I would have had to go into my bag, into my makeup kit, into this. I was like, do I have the time and energy to do that or should I just rub this one off? Like rub this one off, pencil this one in. I don't really know. I was like, well, maybe I'll rub this one off and didn't do it. So I had one eyeliner on, one eyeliner off. I'm happy to say that they both, uh, this one has faded enough to sort of balance it out a little bit. Anyway, so I go through the drive through thinking, oh, I could use like a bagel and a coffee, it would be so good. Get to the window, go to pay. No debit card. No cash, no debit card. Yep. Last time I used the debit card, I did not put it back into my wallet. I put it in my purse. When I left the house, I took my wallet and not my purse. It's like, I don't need my purse. It's just an extra bag to carry. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I'm completely blanked on the fact that my debit card's not in my wallet. And when that realization hit, it's just a brick to the gut. And I was like, oh crap, I have to go home. I don't have, to, I don't have time to do it like an hour back. I'll never make it. And the triple booked, it's a short week, blah, 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 blah. My mind was racing in the little voice in my head, which, you know, it's the good Lord up above. I know it's like, shh, shh. Phone your other mama, because they're in Regina. So I phoned, I was like, hey, are you still in Regina? I guess like, yes, we are, we're at the hospital. I was like, great. Long story short, because she's so wonderful. Uh, she's like, how much do you need? I'll get the cash out. You can meet us here. We'll we'll get you. We'll get you set up. We're, we're not a problem. I was like, thank you so so much. And then uh, I was like, she's like, how much do you need? I was like, well, you're gonna be like three hundred or two hundred. So I was like, we need about two hundred. And then I robbed my husband's change tray of every nickel and dime he has, quarter, everything, and I managed to get myself coffee and a muffin. Then I get back on the highway and I'm like, son of a... <clears throat> and I realize if I don't pay with a credit card, which I don't have, I have a Visa debit, which basically is my debit card. And they don't use, yeah, they won't take the Visa debit as, yeah. You can only shop online with that. <sighs> so I was like, oh crap, I need an extra $200 for the deposit. 
So I was like texting, I was like, oh, I forgot about the deposit. I'm gonna need four instead of two, is that okay? She's like, that is not a problem. Again, cause she's just so amazing. It's like, that is great. So he wolfed down my muffin, I'm starving. So I didn't eat breakfast before I left the house. Cause I'm like, oh, grab something at Jimmy's. No big deal, it's all good. Yeah, always eat before you leave the house cause you just never know. So then I'm on the highway, things are going good. I make it to Regina, I was like, yeah. And I'm just going over the first overpass, right into town. And these, this, I'm holding my coffee in this hand and I get an itch. And these nails, I thought, oh, those are cute. I'm gonna put those on before chemo. Cause there's just a little press on, but they're, they're, they don't really go on good. Look at this, they're like lifted at the back. So all the backs are like lifted. Right, oh, you see the gap? So I go to scratch my ear, right? Do, 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 do. And my fingernail gets caught in my wig like this. And I'm holding coffee in this hand. Did you get where I'm going with this? I had a total planes, trains, and automobiles John Candy moment where he had both of his arms tied up and had to steer with his knees. I'm like veering off the road. I'm like, Gah! So I managed to get my coffee down in my hand without it was like simultaneous I don't know why I didn't think just set your coffee down <sighs> so I crisis averted I got everything free and steering the truck again all good all good <sighs> just did just one thing after another so I get to the hospital and I'm driving the truck I hate the truck it turns it corners like a brick and rides like a lumber wagon. Seriously, seriously. It's, yeah, but I mean, I'm glad I had it because it's the only vehicle we have a four wheel drive, but I find this parking space. I mean, kid you not. I had to go in, back up, in, back up, in, back up, in, back up. Yep, I was this close to the other car. I'm not exaggerating. Like. I had to keep, I think I backed up and going forward like five or six times. And then I get out of the truck and it's so windy and cold. I'm like switching hands, carrying my coffee so I don't get frostbite on my fingertips. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like walking like a penguin. So I'm like the last, and I had to pee so bad. So I'm walking, I'm walking like a penguin because I'm like, I am not going to put the cherry on this Sunday by falling down and peeing my pants. That is not gonna be how this story ends. Nope. No, 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 no. So I'm happy to say I did not. I made it in. Made it in, I got to say hi to my loves and uh, got some cash, all good. Uh, went into chemo and that actually went really freaking smooth. They rolled the chair out, gave me a bed was all good. I didn't have to take as many painkillers. I actually started out like, maybe I won't have to take any, but I did. I ended up having to, having to take a couple, but it wasn't bad. And then I get to the hotel. It's a blizzard. Get to the hotel, go to check in and the deposit is 250 instead of 200. So uh, I end up being left with $10, $10 to eat. So I'm like, I could probably get McDonald's for that, but I haven't eaten all day besides the muffin. I wanted a feast. So I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? I got my hotel or whatever, but I was like, vending machines? Maybe I can raid some of them. I don't know why it took me this long to figure out. Apple Pay. I got my new phone. I was like, I wonder if I could set up Apple Pay. Yeah, five minutes later, I was tapping my phone on the vending machine getting M&Ms. The whole dang thing could have been completely averted if I just would have remembered Apple Pay. So I'm kicking myself right now. But at the same time, I was like, I'm going to make a video, but I need some hot chocolate to do that. Went down to the hotel restaurant. I was like, can you guys just do like a 
like a, just a big hot chocolate to go. He's like, yeah, I could probably do that. I just have to put it in a cardboard cup. I was like, that is fine. Whips me up a delicious hot chocolate. And I was like, what do I owe you? And he's like, don't even worry about it. So the day might have started out. I don't even really want to say it's bad. It's just like one of those days. So it might have started out kind of like meh. But at the end of the day, God's got my back and I figured out Apple Pay. So I don't have to panic. If I wake up in the morning and it looks like, holy crap, I don't want to drive home, I can use Apple Pay to pay for another night. Yes. So I got a free hot chocolate and I'm going to order room, I'm going to order pizza and I'm, okay. I'm all settled. Because once again, it took a while. But, uh, yep. God did eventually do his thing and things are looking up. So, that's my day. Oh, wait, I didn't tell you the best part. I realize when I go to the bathroom at the hospital that my blue underwear is highly visible under my white tights. Just a little extra cherry on the Sunday. <laughs>